step one. Wake up, brother, gon' rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do you. Greetings and welcome back to Packer Avenue in Berlin. Today we're going to Tommy's Burgers. Please join us and consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. And that couldn't be more true when you're looking at burgers in Berlin. Uh, I mean, I thought I knew kind of what was going on. I was in Mitte near Rosenthaler Platz and uh, I passed this place called Tommy's Burger Joint. I thought it was just a local place and I thought, well, I really want to try and get back to that place. But it wasn't that close and I decided, you know, I just go, if you want a burger, you go to your normal place. You know, the place, you go to your hangout or the place that you like. As I'm running in the neighborhood, here just at Ulaanstrasse and the Kudam, I see another Tommy's Burger Joint. And then I see another one in Friedrichshain next to Burger Amt when we were out there shooting it for burgers as well. So I'm thinking, well, this is like another local place. It's franchising. Wrong. This is uh, an incredible story. There is this guy named Tommy Thomas Thomason from Iceland who, uh, long story short, he spent some time in the United States and decided that he was going to bring burgers back to Iceland. And now there are locations for Tommy's Burger Joint in Iceland, England, Denmark, three locations here in Berlin. So join us, we're gonna try this out and learn a little bit more about Tommy's Burger Joint. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations. Mm. Yummy, yummy. It's been a long time since I've had a chocolate shake from an old school machine inside there. Featuring Icelandic ice cream. Thanks to Tommy. In addition to being a burger guy with franchises now, Tommy is also a political figure in Iceland now as well. Riding the train of burger success. Okay, first, a huge shout out to the folks here at uh, Tommy's. Really nice, very friendly, very helpful. Uh, full of information as well. I wasn't really sure. I mean, I know I've had all those locations. We've got Iceland, we've got England, we've got Denmark, we've got three locations in Berlin. And it actually it is a franchise, and I guess there's one owner or there's one of uh, one group that is head of the three different locations here in Berlin as part of the franchise. And we got the bacon cheeseburger today. They come wrapped really nicely, sturdy paper, got nice weight to it already. You could really feel it. We're gonna get the cut though. I like traveling with my own so that we can get the reveal here. got inside of the Tommy burger looking beautiful what really strikes me when I first look at this first is the, is the cook on the meat it's got a nice little pink color quality to it uh, it looks very simple in terms of the condiments that are here uh, it comes normally with mayo the ketchup and the mustard uh, and it looks like it looks like a very simple burger and I think that's kind of the beauty of it honestly looking burger juicy not bun juicy but burger juicy You can just see the juice oozing out of the burger itself. And this is juice. It's nothing real. doesn't seem fatty. Uh, beautiful taste to it. The charcoal taste from the grill is beautiful. And also was told that um, it's not local, but this is imported beef. And um, from Scotland and from um, the, sh the back and shoulder, so it's a little bit more tender. Bacon cooked nicely. I'm not sure where that comes from. Bacon in Germany is a little bit different than we're used to in the States, or that I was used to in the States. Um, a little bit thinner, doesn't necessarily always have that same uh, smoky flavor to that bacon has, but this is a beautiful bite. You can just see it in there a little bit, just above the cheese and the bourbon. That is a crazy good burger. I mean, that has a really, really nice taste. Your eyes, I said, 
the beef is really the highlight. I know Pop saw one of the other ones that we did, and he goes, boy, that just looks like a hoagie because of all the condiments in it. This is very simple. Lettuce, tomato, a little bit of onion. It has beautiful tastes. So fresh, so delicious. Beautiful, beautiful grill taste to it. As you can see, uh, the burgers themselves are simple. Uh, no pickles and stuff like that, but there's a huge amount of condiments inside and uh, a, a, just really a lot to choose from there. Um, they do have some special sauces that they have. Um, compliments of the house today. Very, um, very nice and generous. This is a chipotle mayo that I'm trying out. Chipotle, chipotle mayo, really, really nice. Uh, gives it a nice little spice. Uh, again, it's so good. The beauty of this burger is that it's so simple. This adds a nice little taste to it, but um, I'm a fan. Of course, we threw the fries in here a little bit just to give the review on that. I know I've said it a million times, not really a fry guy, necessarily. I did ask, I'm gonna to have to start doing this a little more frequently. I just asked if they can cook them a little bit longer. These are kind of almost shoestring quality meaning just they're a little bit thinner. And having them cook just that little bit longer, for me, is really nice. It gives it a nice little crispy. Not potato chip, because it's still soft inside, but really nice. Here's one of my favorite things. Um, one of the few things of any that I would eat at McDonald's, and that is, I've told some of my friends about this, get anything at McDonald's, just get the fries and the chocolate shake and dip the fries and the chocolate shake and it sounds crazy but this is just like chocolate covered pretzels in a way because you've got that salt from the fry and you've got the sweet from the chocolate like it's just chocolate covered fry basically and it's a beautiful combination delicious shake Icelandic ice cream so recently we've been looking at the different options that the burger places have and we've been looking at the regular burger and then looking at their vegan or vegetarian options. Got an interesting recommendation today. Uh, everybody's familiar with the Zeiton and familiar also with the Beyond Burger. And this is called the Future Burger, which is new to me. Uh, has a little bit different look to it. I don't know, maybe it has more of a burger flavor to it. Same bread, same condiments. Got the cheese, which isn't a vegan option, more of a vegetarian option. Um, I know the staff really liked it and highly recommended it. Um, has a nice taste from the grill. It's got that outside char a little bit, the same as the burger did. Um, kind of soft in, in the presentation a little bit. I think the consistency of it. I don't find there's a lot of overwhelming taste to it. Um, I, like I taste the tomatoes and the vegetables and the other parts, the condiments in this equally or maybe a little bit more. Um, nice option, it feels nice and light. It has a nice taste, like I said, not overpowering, but a good option if you're out with your friends and you're a vegetarian or a vegan. Um, I don't think you would be disappointed with this. Once again, thanks for joining us on Packer Avenue here in Berlin. And the mini burger from Tommy's. Bon appetit. Hope you enjoyed Tommy's. We certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. Please join us on our further adventures and don't forget to hit that subscription button. Thanks. Until next time.